Okay, having said that, I'll open it up for public comment. Looks like we have some speakers. We'll ask that you uh, try to keep it down to, to two minutes because we have to get to the agenda items. And uh, I'm going to give you three minutes. No, I'm not going to give you. Yeah, I, you can hold yourself. We'll give you two minutes uh, like we'll give everyone else, but we look forward to that, Mr. Zimmerman, my friend. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. We're going to have an exciting day this afternoon. First, we'll have Mr. Bill Schreier, Mr. Samuel Bellamillo, followed by Mr. Alex Zimmerman. Yeah, my name is uh, Sam Bellamillo, and I'm here with Stand Up America. And uh, I'm not here with the city of anything, and I'm not here with the county of anything. I'm here as a citizen. Uh, you're talking about appointing a bunch of people today, and you know I can't give my two cents on that because I wasn't there be being able to ask them questions before appointing. You have your government officials coming in, telling how great they've been doing. Your government officials appointing people. When are the citizens allowed in this conversation? This is what I'm here to talk about. I'm talking about a fundamental change that you guys have yet to do. You're required by your own laws to have a town hall twice a year. I'm demanding you do this now, but I demanded it for the past three years. You haven't done one. What, what, is, what is so grotesque to you? Not having a meeting here just after lunch and having it out in the neighborhoods. What's so grotesque about not limiting the freedom of speech and saying, I must speak to an agenda item? Start holding your meetings out in these neighborhoods, not twice a year, once a quarter. Why not once a month? Why not hold these meetings at nighttime when citizens don't have to fight to get the time off to come in and speak to you? You guys have not done your job for years, for too many years. This is what we're telling you. Stand Up America is coming to tell you to do a fundamental change. You have legislation today that's going to be very good about restricting the use of surveillance cameras. Yay. So we want me to stand up here for two minutes talking about that one agenda item, how great of an idea it is. No, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what good or bad things you're doing. I'm going to tell you what we need to change. I want a dialogue. I'm not disagreeing or agreeing with anything. Create the space. The gentleman came up and started talking about cameras in the, the school zones. The points he brought up were very valid. He's going to get no response from you. And if he does, it's not going to be a response. It's going to be a passive, thank you for coming. This is a dialogue in our community that needs to happen, and you're supposed to be a part of this dialogue. You're the coordinators of the citizens, of the efforts of the citizens, not dictators, not the ones appointing people that are in your circles and in circles of other government bodies. You're not the ones that are passing laws to control us. You're supposed to be passing laws to control yourselves and what you're doing. We need more legislation in place to start controlling you. And we need more dialogue in that focus, too. Because we could talk every day about what citizens are doing and how many more fines to impose on them. We can. But what are we going to talk about imposing fines on you, restricting you? No more can we restrict the citizens. And no more can you ignore the fact that citizens need to speak to you. Hold your town halls that you are required to do by law. You're supposed to do them twice a year. Hold them off work hours and hold them in a neighborhood and hold them more than twice a year. Stop him acting like an idiot. Thank you, Mr. Bellamino. Followed Mr. Zimmerman, followed by uh, Mr. Applebaum, Jacob Applebaum. Hi, my name is Alex Zimmerman and I represent Stand Up America. I think you're doing a very good job. And I have recommended to you what is we need doing. We need to put a camera in every bedroom citizen. You know what I mean? We have a budget, $700 billion. Yeah, yeah. So you know how many tanks, how many airlines, you know, Boeing doing, you know what I mean? So you good, doing very good job. In proposition, very simple. Each bedroom with camera. In everything under government control. In straight to White House, you know what I mean? So everybody can sit down and look, what is I doing in my bed between 12 midnight and 2 midnight? You know what I mean? It's a very good idea, you know what I mean? If we have a ton of money, why not? You're doing a very good job. You're doing a much better jo job than doing Soviet Union or Nazi communists. You know what this means? You're doing better and better and better every day. We're falling and falling and falling right now. You know what this means? So how about this camera transfer to food? You know what this means? And give everybody, disabled people who stay in bed, like my mom, for 15 years. You know what this means? You give her food a little bit more. And maybe my future will be the same. You know what this means? Because I'm senior citizen and I'm old. When you start acting like a normal people, when you stop and acting like an idiot under mafia principle, you know what this mean? You organize criminals. It's exactly who you are. It's very simple what is we talking to you. 
This cannot go forever. It's supposed to be the end of the story. So why are you waiting? When we come to this dark tunnel, and inflation come to 20, 30 percent, and 250 million people who are absolutely poor right now go in the street with guns, who will stop in these people? Nobody. Million people died every time when this happened. History knows this for 5,000 years from the Roman Empire. Why are you, pardon, acting like a freaking idiot? It's very hard. Look history. Dozen generations have the same problem. And dozen generations doing exactly again and again and again. Blood in people dying. Blood in people dying. You need to stop in this. It's very simple. It's not late right now. Start something doing, guys. Start looking what has happened. One idiot more dangerous than 100 spy. It's very simple. You know what it means? Stop and acting like an idiot. Start acting like a professional businessman. Poor country is not good. Be a poor is too expensive. Thank you, Mr. Thank Zimmerman. Thank you very much for your time. Mr. Jacob Applebaum, followed by 